Hi guys, it's it is Johnny, and you know what? I'm so, I'm so, I'm so glad because you know why? I got the Mama Forty when she looked in her closet. <laughs> yeah, I got it when she saw that son, bitch. <laughs> I thought she was gonna flip. Out. I thought she was going to fall on the floor because you know why? When she saw that saw a bitch and then she saw that dress on the dresser, she said, Oh, I know who was there. Johnny. Johnny was here. I'm going to get her back. Well, guess what? Ha, 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 ha. But you know what? I drove past the house the other day and guess what? who I saw there? The locksmith. I think she's changing her lock so I can't get in her house. But she, guess what? I can figure out a way. I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people that could get me there. I could crawl, I could crawl in the back of the um, window outside in the backyard. Why don't you like me? I do love you, Mama Forty. I do. There's got to be a way that we could get along somehow. There's got to be. Anyway, do you like my lips today? They're dark. I got some beautiful, I got more beautiful eyes than you, Mama Forty. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna kick it up. Look at my look at the headband today. Look at that. That is sharp as hell. It's shiny. People are gonna go see me in the dark. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna start out by telling you a little. Um, let's go. Let's preview some stories that are in the in the internet. Okay. Now, I want to ask you a question. There was a question out there that said, if you saw a woman in front of you, right, and her pants were split right down the middle in her ass, and, the, and all you saw was the crack of her ass, what would you do? Would you tell her? Or would you let her walk around with her ass split, with the pants split, and she bends over and all you saw was her hairy crack of her ass, and some Little dimples and dimples like cellulite. Would you let her walk around like that all day? Or would you tell her? Well, me, Mama Forty. Or Johnny. I know for sure Mama Forty would tell her. Because she's nasty. Me, I have to say I would tell her to her, Johnny. Because it's only the nice thing to do, right? How could you let somebody walk around... With her pants split up her ass. With the hairy stuff sticking out. No. You have to say, excuse me, ma'am. But your pants are split up your ass. And when you bend over, you can see the freaking hair sticking out. And your bumpy cellulite sticking out. It's not nice. You have to tell her so she can go home and change her pants. Can't let her walk around like that. It's a damn shame. No, you can't. Would you tell her? Yes, I'm sure you would. Some people wouldn't. They let her walk around all day so people could laugh at her all day. No, you can't. I got it. I got to tell her. And Mama Forty, she going to tell her too. I don't know if she's going to tell her in a nice way or... No, Mama Forty's usually sometimes nice to people like that. She's probably say, oh, excuse me, hon, but you know what? Can you please go? I want to tell you, go get a towel or something. Here, here's a t-shirt or my jacket. Cover yourself up because you know why? You have a split in your pants. Okay, whatever. Now, I want to tell you about the sweetest story I saw. This girl got married. And believe it or not, she had her 89-year-old grandmother as her bridesmaid. I thought it was the sweetest thing. Oh my God, I had tears in my eyes. I was so, 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 so happy for her. Why? Because her grandmother was her best, best, best friend. Now, come on. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful story. I loved it. Oh my God, look at that. I do have a little leopard like Mama Forty, but mine's blue, cause I like color. I love it hanging out, I don't care. Okay, the other one. How about that Kim, Ref Kim Richards from that Housewife show? She was at her daughter's wedding, got in drunk, 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 drunk. She left the daughter's wedding. What'd she do? She went shopping at Target. And got caught shoplifting. Now, come on. She's a rich woman. What does she need to shoplift for? I think she's effed up. Come on. You're rich. Yeah, she has a disease. She's because she's an alcoholic and a drug addict. I don't know what else she is. But she got, scared. She got caught shoplifting in that target. Come on. What's wrong with you, girl? No, 
now she's back in rehab again for the fourth, fifth, sixth time. Who knows? She ever going to get better? She got kids. She got children. Grow up. Now, another thing that I think is a happy thing in Louisiana, they just passed a law that people cannot walk around with their pants lower than the freaking crack of their ass, hanging down like you see the boys. Some girls, too, with the pants, with the belt below their stomach, hanging down with their ass and their underwears hanging out. It's passed along in Louisiana. Don't go to Louisiana if you got your pants hanging low because you're getting kicked out, okay? And another thing, hmm, you know the um, Fifty Shades of Grey? Well, they're coming out with a new book now. Coming out with a new book now. And it's called Grey. Because it's, um, he, Christian's going to tell the story for himself. Not an author, nobody else, but Christian Grey's going to tell his own story. You know what I say about that? Who cares? We had enough of freaking sex. We had enough of handcuffs. We had enough of whips. Yeah, I enjoy the story, I have to say. Got me a little hot and bothered in the between my legs. You know what? I really liked it. Sometimes I had to pull up my... I got some special toys in my drawer. Sometimes I had to take them out and use them because I don't have a boyfriend. So that was cool. <laughs> but I had enough of that. I didn't like the guy that played the part, so I didn't go see the movie because you know what? The book was good enough for me. And the last thing I want to say is, you know what, Mama Fody? Yeah, we had some good times and we had some bad times. But let me tell you this. If you admit it to yourself, life would, without me, I think it would be just a little bit boring. So you know what? I do add a little excitement to your life. So you know what? I think you should keep me around. What do you think, guys? Think, you think Joni should be around for a while? I do, because I'm fun. And don't think I can't get in your house. You should invite me in because I'm your cousin. But I can find a way in. So you know what, but guys? I'm not going anywhere. I'll be around. And Mama Forty, I love you, baby. <laughs> Bye.